Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. Tonight we're talking about paid consults, specifically in Clio. And Clio has added, relatively recently, added a feature that I think will come in real handy when you're trying to charge for those consults. So I'm going to flip over to my screen here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So when we're looking at our Clio screen, um, let's pretend like I have a contact in here that wants to pay for a consult. And since everybody that calls my office is put into Clio, their contact information is put into there, he will already be in here. And let's say his J name is James Madison. And so I find Mr. James Madison and it brings up his contact information. And you'll see he doesn't have any matters because he hasn't hired us yet, so we haven't created any matters. And he would now like to come in for a paid consult. And so when he's on the phone with me and I want to take his credit card information pretty quickly and get this all taken care of, um, I don't want to have to go through the process of creating a new matter and all of that. So the less steps, the better, so that I can do it very quickly and hopefully while he's still on the phone to get his credit card information and take that payment as soon as possible. And so what you'll see up here in the right corner is a relatively new quick bill button so that I can very quickly create a bill for Mr. Madison and pay that bill right here in Clio. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the quick bill. Now what it actually does is it does create a new matter for Mr. Madison. And now if I have a matter number, of course, I can type it in here, but this is going to be a new matter. Now it does require you to actually have a matter open for Mr. Madison. So if you already have one, you can choose it, of course, to make a quick bill. But in the instance of an initial consult, we won't have one already. So I'm going to go ahead in here and put consult. Okay, and then what it's going to do is Clio is going to automatically create that matter for me. And so my time entry, I'm just going to go over here to my um, activity description. I'm going to find the strategy session, which I have a flat rate for. And I'm going to come down to um, options, and ooh, which is behind my picture there. You can't see that. Um, but we'll go down to options, and it allows us to skip the bill approval process so that I don't have to go through that. I'll go ahead and generate the bill. And as soon as that bill is generated, again, behind my picture, um, let's see if I can move that for you. No, nope, behind my picture, the button turns to view bill. And so when I click on that, I see the bill, and now I can very quickly just go and record payment. And again, if this uh, is a credit card, I can go ahead and click on credit card, and it's going to just ask me for his billing information once I click on billing information down here. And so that's how we can very easily and very quickly go ahead and create an invoice for a paid consult without having to go through the process of creating a matter. Now, creating a matter only really requires three or four pieces of information, but it is a whole separate screen and it is a faster process to do this. So I'll show you what happens once you've created this invoice is now we do have a matter for Mr. Madison. And so if we cancel out of this screen, we can go into our matter list and find the new matter that was just created for Mr. Madison. So I will want to, so that I can track my matters very carefully, I will want to go back to that matter after the fact. And I will want to edit it to put in, you know, whether it's an hourly or flat fee matter. I'll want to, you know, change or add information about who the responsible attorney is, who the originating attorney is, what uh, practice area it is. I'll want to include all that stuff, but it's not something I have to do while he's on the phone and while I'm trying to collect payment. So this way I can go ahead and collect that information later, or I can go ahead and fill that information in later. And the matter will be sitting there waiting for me. So now a lot of people are concerned about starting matters for consults that may or may never hire you. What I would recommend is that's a great place for us to use this pending matter and this pending status of a matter. So if I change this matter and I edit it to show that it's a pending matter instead of an open matter, since he hasn't hired us yet, I can do that. I'm going to put in my matter number. If you don't have an automatic mattering number, it's going to require you to put one in there. 
So I'm going to do that, and now when I look at my matter list, it's not going to show up on the open mist list. It will show up on the pending list. And so we can see right here our consult for Mr. James Madison under pending. So I would highly encourage you, if you, especially if you are not using Clio Grow or any other type of intake software, this is a really nice way to go ahead and handle those initial paid consults. So I hope you found this helpful. Please have an awesome evening, and I will chat with you later. Thank you.